Homie. I'm gonna dive right into this vlog. What's up guys? So today we're finally gonna be looking into the issue with the suspension on the STI. For those of you who don't know, when I have my DCCD either in auto or any setting besides the bottom most setting, which is sending all the power to the rear, I'm having like a metal clunking or like a skipping sound when I do a full lock on the wheels. So what I'm gonna be doing, something that Ruben suggested, is that it could just be my sway bar. So I'm running 10K spring coilovers in the front plus an aftermarket sway bar. So if it's too stiff in the front, it'd be just too tight up front and that's why it's making that sound. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the bumper, get rid of the sway bar. So we're gonna disconnect it and then we're gonna run the car like that. If it doesn't make that sound, then we know that it's just too stiff. So we're gonna get right into that. <laughs> hey guys, in, in the comments, one of you guys suggested the, I have no idea what they're called, but they're the ones that go right here and they lift your hood up. So that way we can get rid of this. Because this actually does get in the way when you're trying to work on this side of the car. Not that you would know anything else. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. Should we take it to Subaru? What? To take my bumper off? No mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the easy part. Someone just left a comment on the video from today about why these guys weren't at the meet yesterday. He was working, Diego was working. Ongo just got back from LA today. He's actually here. Where? So he's gonna come. Well, he's not here yet. Oh. <laughs> but he's coming. He was in LA, that's why he couldn't make it. And Marco, well, I invited you, buddy. Sure, take it off, take it off. <laughs> So right now I'm just disconnecting the sway bar. It's the easiest thing ever. There's one bolt and one nut, and then you just have like a bunch of spacer type of looking things in between. So there it is. So you have a washer, and then there's this part right here that I believe comes out. You have these. And that's done. Now we can do the other side. It's too heavy. Look at the inside, dude. It's because of my power steering rack. They're like going bald on the inside. So it's messing up my toe. And there's two. Nice. So we got those disconnected. Now what we gotta do is put the DCCD in auto, do a full lock on the wheels. And if it doesn't make a sound, voila, then, then problem solved. Again. The issue isn't solved. Marco buys me my white line bushings. Down. I'm yeah. so down. I'm gonna put it in the lowest setting right now where it doesn't make a sound just to see because I can't really hear it coming out of my driveway so we're actually gonna have to go drive it then I'll put it in auto. like a wheel bearing or something. I'm hoping it's this though. I think it just skipped, so 
I don't think it was it. Fuck. Yeah, see, it's the skipping. You guys are gonna hear it skipping right now, watch. See? Oh yeah. Watch. Oh. Try right here. Watch. See how it's still doing it? You can hear it too. So I guess it's not that. I was really hoping it was. Because it makes sense, you know, if you have a too stiff of a suspension, it's not gonna function properly. But, I don't know. No? It's still there. It's not it. I was hoping it was it, but it's not. Let's go jack it up real quick. Reminds me, Ongo has my jack. Hmm. See, it has to be something in the hub or the knuckle because it started doing it right after the 5x114 swap on the hubs. So it has to be something there. I don't think it's going to be the axles because the axles that came with the kit were the same exact size that were already on my car. So it can't be one shorter than the other. It has to be something inside of there. <laughs> Dude, so on goes on his way and I was asking him if we could throw on the BBSs just to see if like the wheel bearing is bad. And he's like, uh, my tire just went out. <laughs> now he's calling me. <laughs> Hello? Speaker. What's up? The front? Oh, no way. But that last three days, four days? Splitter? Yeah, two. It's coming off, guys. It makes it so much harder to put my bumper on with the splitter on. That was a good three days. It's gone. You want it, Wombo? Yep. You. Wait, let me see. 40 bucks. I'm down. Let me see. I'm in my car right now. Dude, it's really watch yourself. Heck's getting Ida. Ida. Damn. Dude, it fits. I ended up just taking the splitter off, guys. I really wasn't digging the look of it anymore. And plus, I have these nuts and screws that come in here so that the bumper is nice and tight so it's not loose. And those were a pain to get in when the splitter was in there. So I just decided to get rid of it. I wanted it to be the sway bar making that noise, but I think we're just going to try another day. Ongo has my jack anyway, and he has a flat, so he doesn't really want to come out. We'll try again a different day. <laughs> Hype up Marco. Marco, side dancing. Marco. <laughs> Look at the leg, it's like coming down. <laughs> dude, this one's hella good. A ver, Marco? It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It smells like marshmallows. Dude. Oh, it does. Oh, it smells like marshmallows. Okay, but don't eat it. Ah, oh, look, grimly grass bit. <laughs> Like a dongle, a dongle with the camber. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Does it feel weird? Really? Switch it up all the time. Oh my god! Oh my god! No. Tell them what we're here for. For the wings, buddy. The wings, buddy. What? Sick ass invite to wherever you're going. Damn. Sick ass invite. We 
got Camacho joining us for some pizza and wings. <laughs> I had pizza yesterday with Ruben. Pizza this morning. Now I'm having pizza. Because we're hungry. <laughs> what happened in there, Marco? So we try to get a oh. table because we're hungry. We're gonna eat. We're gonna have to leave somewhere. Somewhere good. Hi. Recommendations down below. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I know they're not car related, but we thought we'd bring you out while we're not really doing any car stuff. Don't worry guys, after this big meet, the tap, it's not really big. It's a big meet. The Lake Tool. Oh. After that meet, there's gonna be a bunch of car content, including painting the STI over there. So excited for that. Sorry guys, it's always the same thing to come eat. It takes us like two hours to finally pick where we wanna eat. What's up guys, what's up? We're here at Riva Grill. Yeah, random strawberry. The burger. Mm. Yeah, worth all that money, Marco? No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go tell Marco to buy a 2015 WRX. No. 2018, 2020 STI. The new models. Only if it's automatic. <laughs> no. No. A wheelbarrow. Let us know what you guys think. Peace. All right guys, I think we're gonna call it a day today. If you guys are going to Lake 2O, make sure to leave a comment down below. That's this Wednesday and we're gonna be out there 